Okay, bring your appetite. You don't have to bring the passport, though, because you don't have to go far to get a taste of Italy. Yeah, it's the taste of little Italy, though, so it's still a good time. ABC 10 News reporter Sierra Encinas joins us live now with a look, Sierra. I just, I just want to see the food. Like, <laughs> we know this is a big event. It's a lot of fun. Can you just show me some delicious pasta? You know, I really wish I could. I tried. I tried, I tried, I tried, but it's a little too early for the folks here in Little Italy. And I know that all this can be a bit overwhelming because there are so many restaurants here. I mean, I'm surrounded by them here on the piazza, and people are guaranteed to walk away with much more than a full stomach. They're going to walk away with a whole history lesson. I mean, right now I am standing on the Piazza de Familia, which represents the families of the past, present, and future. That means all of us right here in San Diego. Every morning, a group of Italian San Diegans gather to talk and even laugh around a table in what the Little Italy Association calls the biggest Little Italy in the country. This is their home, but it's also a foodie's paradise. Traditional and contemporary Italian restaurants and beyond line the block. Trying it all can be a bit overwhelming, but the Little Italy Association is giving the community a chance to try the dozens of restaurants in the neighborhood during a taste of Little Italy. The great thing about this event is actually it over the last 16 years has helped us raise over $300,000 to benefit the programming, the beautification and the maintenance of our community. Chris Gomez is with the Little Italy Association. He says Dozens of restaurants will participate over the next two days. We actually are at Frostman Cafe and Bakery. It's um, one of our participating restaurants. They're super excited because they're going to be doing some samples of some of their delicious pastries. The owner won Cupcake War Season 9. We sell a lot of gluten-free selections as well. The bakery and cafe will have their sweet treats for sale alongside a small cookie sample. Participants will walk away with a full stomach and a history lesson about the neighborhood that's been serving as a hub for Italian culture since the 20s. Little Italy is actually a Italian fishing community. Uh, there were other uh, cultures and ethnicities here, but predominantly Italian. That's why it's called Little Italy. You'll find some fisherman stories inside Filippi's Pizza Grotto. If you've ever noticed that, they have these Chianti bottles that are hanging from the ceiling, and that's when the uh, fishermen used to go in and get provisions at the cash and carry store, Filippi's Cash and Carry, and before they went out to the boats, and they would write their IO use of how much they owe the De Filippi family and they would come back and pay their bill. Now, Taste of Little Italy starts this afternoon at 4 p.m. It's a two-day event. It is sold out, but all of the money raised, like you heard, it stays right here to revitalize this beautiful neighborhood that we all enjoy so much. Some of the participating restaurants include Vincenzo's, a new concept here on the piazza. You saw the Frost Me Cafe, which is right over my shoulder here, and even the Waterfront Bar and Grill, which is the longest-running bar in San Diego. So we'll keep you posted on this event. I know I'm going to come out here and enjoy the food. For now, live in Little Italy, is here in Cena's CBC 10 News.